owners are looking to sell their stake in the team. Now, before I dive into the specifics here, are you surprised at all that this is going down after what we found out last week? No, no, I'm not. I'm not surprised. And I, I want to hold off on these people looking like heroes who are trying to sell their stake in the team. Yeah. These folks have made a lot of money when they bought the team. It wasn't worth a fraction of what it's worth right now. Okay. Yeah. So while it's minority shares, it's still going to be worth a lot of money to them. All right. They're not taking pay cuts. They didn't take a loss. They didn't do anything. Yeah. They made a lot of money and they're getting out. And I'll tell you that getting out, the NFL network of owners is really small. Okay. Really small. If they want to be NFL owners, they can just buy minority shares in another team with the money that they make off of the Redskins. Yeah. And it and, would be and that's pretty easy for them to still be allowed to be an NFL owner because they've already been vetted. They've already been through the process. They're already owners. It's not that hard. These, um, these are the guys, by the way. Let me let me dive into this. Yeah. It's prominent businessmen Robert Rothman, Dwight Shar, and Frederick W. Smith, who everybody knows is the CEO of FedEx. Yep. They own a combined about 40% of the team. They've hired an investment banking firm to undergo a search for possible buyers, uh, sources told the Post, the Washington Post. Uh, Daniel Snyder was a little surprised at it because, I mean, he, he considered these guys to be friends. Well, with, but, with Fred Smith and FedEx, it, it's called FedEx Field, and that's a partnership. Yeah. And so, yeah, no, you're you're right. I'm I'm curious. You know, I I don't think there's going to be any shortage of people that are looking to get into this spot. Me neither. So I don't know that this is a massive ordeal. Nope. Uh, and I think that they will be able to buy into. There will other be teams. another field named FedEx Field by next year. By 2021, if Fred Smith sells his stake, he will have stakes somewhere else, and there will be another field named FedEx Field. Yeah, very shortly. Now, I think I think you're probably right. So I, I will say this: the New Orleans Superdome does not currently have a That's title right. sponsor. They were the Mercedes Benz, and Mercedes went and got Atlanta. And once their contract was up with New Orleans, they walked out. Yeah, no. So, and New Orleans is, of course, closer to Memphis. Hell of a lot closer to Fred. But, of course, the world is close to Fred because yeah. <laughs> he owns a billion pl- airplanes. Yeah, he owns everything. So he, he, has more, he has more airplanes than anyone in the world, and I don't think getting places is a problem for him. No, I don't think so either. I don't think so. But we'll see. Um, we'll see. I, I think this is a big deal, though. And there's, there's some D.C. folks that believe that that 40%, while they're minority owners, could they find a way to take legal action after Dan to try to get minority ownership away from him, majority ownership away from him, to buy up another 11%? Huh. That's, so there, that's, there are, there, that's a few DC people that I've, I've followed. And that, that could just be hopeful, wishful thinking of just everybody wanting Dan Snyder out as an owner. Well, if you can get to 51%, then he's out as majority owner. And Which means he's out of you, decision-making. You can run the team however you want and still have him around. Yeah. He uh, still get paid. He still get the benefit of owning the team. He's no longer the face of the team anymore. Ben um, jumps in on Twitch and says, does this show that Snyder is not going to change the name? I don't know that it necessarily shows that, but it, it may be that he is not doing exactly what they would prefer that he does with it. Right. Well, I don't know. I think I think there's a chance that it absolutely shows that he might he might just be unwilling to do it. Well, I mean, it, again, we talked about it on the show last Friday, I guess it was, where he has said in the past he will never change never the name. Never change it. Yeah, he has said that. So, and, and, and I will tell you, I wonder does this come off the heels of if they change it to the Warriors, but keep it a Native American feeling? Like we have the Golden State Warriors. Not one person has ever associated them with Native American. Yeah. I, I never did. I, maybe they are, and I just never did. But, like, if he continues to follow the Native American um, mascot and style of everything but changes it to the Warriors, I I think that's something that might just be the, what pisses the owners off the most, is saying 
I'm going to, I'm going to give in to you, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to continue to do what I want to do. Yeah. So like I'm, I'm going to give the just logo. enough to, to, to change, but not enough to appease anybody because nobody's going to tell me what to do. We live in a world in which people continue to do bad things, bad ideas. They stick with bad ideas strictly because other people are telling them what to do and we don't like being told what to do. Yeah. Now you're, you're hundred percent right. Uh, Damien said FedEx come to Chicago and guarantee rate, please. Damn. Reisendorf or Reisendorf. Reinsdorf. <laughs> right on. Yeah. 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 I'm with you. Um, yeah. So it, it'll be interesting to see exactly what happens with this. I, I think it could mean something, you know, like that. He may not what he has said. There are different reports that he doesn't want to change the logo at all. Yeah. So if, if that's they change the case, to the Warriors, they'll keep the same logos. And and if they change to the Red Tails, they will have to change Look, the logo. All logos. Yeah. And and I think maybe the logos and and whatnot are part of the problem. But I mean, obviously, we'll keep an eye on this. We'll see what's going on. This is all stuff that will be happening I just down the road. I want to be careful. I love Fred Smith. I love FedEx. Okay, we're the local Memphis people, and he has done an amazing thing for our town, our city. These guys, these guys aren't heroes. That's they, true. They bought something at, I would guesstimate, let me use even numbers at a hundred dollars, and they're going to sell it for four hundred dollars. Yeah, like they're not, like they're not, they're not losing. They're not money. heroes here. They just don't want to be associated, and they'll all be right back in with a different NFL team in five minutes if they want to be, because they, they just. They have money, and they're not against the NFL. They just no one wants to be associated with Dan, and the only people that are going to want this are people that have been trying to buy ownership in the teams, and nobody will let them in the door because yeah. there's a lot of gatekeepers, and you, you you know to get through that gate, you you know it's tough. Yes, so you got to buy something you don't really want. It certainly is. It certainly is. With that said, speaking of change. 